Nandita Pandey back again in this week with a weekly forecast for the week starting from 27th of November to 3rd of December 2016. So that's the week I am going to talk about and we'll start up with the Aries but before we start up let's talk about super moon still because super moon uh, did occur on the 14th of November and the ripple effects are still being foreseen like I always say. There are natural calamities that might follow after super moon and mass of evils or uh, something related to masses, losses uh, can occur and that has been happening in Indian subcontinent. There was an earthquake that uh, rippled the uh, northern Indian uh, subcontinent and similarly there was a train, tragic train mishap that occurred in Kanpur. So that's all uh, I kind of correlated with super moon area because that's how we've always observed that whenever there is super moon such events take place. Uh, let me go back to uh, the sun signs and uh, again uh, how uh, the week would fare for all uh, all of you, all different sun signs. We'll start off with Aries. Aries are people born on the, from 21st, 22nd of March to 21st of April and that's the time frame that I look into Aries. And let me see how Aries are going to fare this week. And for Aries, they have been uh, quite troubled in the last few weeks, but this is the week they are going to bounce back with a lot of energy. For Aries, I see a lot of growth happening. There uh, could be initial doubts about your relationship area, but if you embark on a decision and take that up or maybe want to uh, take a travel or a short trip, this is the right time to do in your matters of art. When you do that, things will be beautiful. Romance seeps in your life beautifully. This is a beautiful week turning out. Professionally also, there are celebrations happening and a woman who has good knack for speaking is the one who would help you out in your boyfriend. Financially, again, I see a lot of support system coming in as from a fatherly figure who uh, also believes in taking action and yet he is also very hard working and very practical approach in mind. So his guidance is worth taking in this week to uh, achieve success and growth in your life. So that's a kind of especially monetary growth in your life. So that's a, a kind of projection I see for uh, Aries uh, in health uh, matters there are celebrations taking place which rejuvenates your health system also. Family life is good, new beginnings are happening in your family life and travels in the second half of the week will bring in a lot of gains and success for you. But uh, by the end of the week you might feel a little disappointed by a certain news that might disturb you. We move on to Taurus and let us see how Taurians are doing and for Taurians how this week would fare. So for Taurians again a lot of options are coming up in your matters of heart. So you will find a lot of opportunity all through the week to create a lot of peace, happiness in your love life. So that's a kind of projection I see. Work friends, slow steady gains coming in and such is the status in your monetary area also where investments would give you an average and a plus average results in this week. Health wise, uh, you need to be careful about your eating habits, minor abdominal problems might crop up. A little sensible approach in this one might you know, save you from a lot of troubles. Family life, again the slow steady gains, uh, but travels is uh, an area where uh, any kind of trip or holidays would bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment. So that's a lot of positive projection for you. Uh, by the end of the week, you might feel a little restricted in your movements. Uh, there could be some obligations that might certain, you know, definitely come up and create a little resistance in life. And the next sun sign, Gemini. Let us see how Gemini's are going to fare. And for Gemini's, I see health issues. Absolutely fantastic results in this area because I see somebody uh, who can give you guidance, who can bless you in your life, is the one and who's an expert in this field might you know guide you well to uh, rejuvenate your mind, body and soul. So do follow that, do a little bit of meditation because that's again an area that brings you a lot of calm, peace and wisdom in your life and also beautiful health energies seeping in, in your auric energy. So that's the projection that I see. However, in your matters of heart, if you're too possessive about your love life, then things might not work out. This is the time to give a little leverage to your loved one also, give a breathing space and if you do that, your relationship would turn out to be very beautiful and harmonious. Professionally, uh, again I see uh, slow steady growth happening for you professionally, but this is not the right time to make any new investments. Not a good time to do that, please don't do it because uh, that might boomerang back at you. Travels are also average, nothing great happening here. 
but in family life you would learn the art of art of manipulating things to your favor so you would know if there are difficult situations taking place you would just know how to handle them with ease and calm the week end ends with uh, some good news knocking your door and now uh, we move on to cancerians and let us see how cancerians are faring and for cancerians Uh, this is a week when women help you out all your women colleagues or your women bosses if you have any please do consult them because their guidance is the one that is the guidance for you in this week and they'll help you out in fulfilling your targets in time professionally uh, as i said the more action oriented you are the better the results would be but financially you need to be a little calm in your approach because i uh, see expenses happening and sudden expenses taking place so don't take any rash decisions expenses can also be on youngsters so that's also the kind of projection i see you undergoing in matters of heart there are possibilities of rifts or maybe issues related to children which might crop up and create anxieties in between the two of you health wise how are you going to do so it's an average week for you but travels are going to give you a lot of benefits the whole week through so beautiful planetary uh, disposition or combinations reflecting on your uh, sign bringing growth and success in your travel ventures however in your family life there could be issues that you need to still sort them out so that's a kind of uh, projection i see don't cling back to your past this is the time to move forward and think positive things and definitely situations would be better we move on to leo leo um, are again uh, people generally born in the month of august august and see how things are faring for you so a lot of options turning out as far as investments are concerned and money matters bring in growth and stability in your life financially it is a good time and yet uh, simultaneously i see professionally uh, you are bouncing back in your life with a lot of energy lot of growth and also old projects reviving back but in matters of heart this is a time uh, you would want to uh, not spend uh, 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 me me time with your loved one rather you would be more on a socializing spree and would mix around with people make new friends make new develop new acquaintances so that's a kind of uh, flow that i uh, see you undergoing an extra effort is required to bring harmony and peace in your family life travel ventures will only give you growth and gains if you are focused towards it because i see you being very busy in a lot of activities the whole week through health indicates an average uh, area right now nothing great happening in this front and how does the week end for you so again uh, new beginnings uh, by the end of the week are taking shape the more uh, skill oriented you are or the more intuitive you are and the more you follow your intuition the better the situations will be for you We move on to Virgos. Virgos are the people born in the month of September, and let us see how Virgos are going to fare. So I see motherly figures blessing you in your work front, especially uh, women with whom you share excellent rapport. They are the ones who are going to help you out in your professional area. Financially, also this is a good time to pitch in your uh, projects. Uh, but again, if you are careless, then expenses would happen and some losses might take place. So you need to. We be very careful as far as your money matters are concerned. Matters of heart bring in lot of love and happiness, especially uh, on behalf of children. Also, uh, there will be lot of peace and harmony, and there could be possible good news coming in uh, in your love life in this week. Uh, Health-wise, uh, not a great time. You seem to be very busy. You're not focusing. It could be minor muscular pains or bone aches taking place. And uh, family life, you need to take. Certain firm decisions. Be more courageous in your uh, decisions, and when you do that, things will start harmonizing in your family life. Travels, if I have to look into for Virgos, do not really indicate too much of growth and gains, and the week also ends on a very very subtle note. And for Libras, let us see how you are going to fare. So for Libras, I see in matters of art, you have to be very consistent. Keep making efforts, and if you do that. Love life is going to be peaceful and harmonious, and if you don't, then you are at fault. Professionally, good growth period coming in. A lot of new projects would uh, open up for you. Uh, multiple situations, and again, a man who has reached a position of strength, helping you out in this front. Financial efforts, I see gains uh, in this area. Even if things are not working right now, you might feel a little disappointed with whatever situation is happening. Don't be disappointed because the tarot guides you, uh, telling you that there is a divine cycle helping and churning out good beneficial situations in your money matter. So in times to come, there is growth and success happening in your 
uh, financial uh, front. And similarly, if I have to look into travels, travels are very beautiful. There would be some guidance coming in, or maybe people you travel along with. It will, it is going to be full of happy memories and an enjoyable venture. But uh, in family life, there could be some issues that you still need to deal with, and uh, don't be too egoistic when you're dealing with them. Health is an area of concern. And we move on to Scorpios, and let us see how Scorpions are faring in this week. For Scorpios, health is going to be good and a lot of good positive changes happening in the health issues. You would know how to handle your health. Similarly, financially also, uh, there are growth patterns emerging. Money matters would bring, bring in a lot of relief and uh, uh, again, uh, strengthen your monetary position. So that's the kind of situation I see. A youngster helps you out in this venture. But in matters of art, there is a lot of emotional anxiety that is seeping in, developing insecurities and emotional uh, disturbances in your life. Professionally, you need to avoid confrontations at any cost because there will be situations that would trigger this down. And if you, you know, fall into that vortex, you might you know, be in trouble. So stay away from it. The more you stay away from it, the better it would be. Family life, again, you need to deal with patients because, uh, again, I see um, unhappiness because of children or there could be some ego issues or some uh, distances that would uh, develop or a property matter that might disturb you. And uh, travels also, nothing great happening in travel front also. The weekends on uh, uh, lonely phase, you know, there are issues where you might feel a little lonely. You would not know how to express them. There is a certain grief that is you know, seeping in your system. You are not letting it out. You need to express it to the concerned person. If you do that, things will start harmonizing. Trust me, there are a lot of positive changes and will start shaping up. And we move on to uh, the sign of the week, uh, that is Sagittarius. Let us see how things are happening. A lot of good things happening for you, Sagis. Uh, celebrations taking place in the work front because projects will manifest the way you would want to. Especially if they are creative projects, then they will be even more beneficial. So you are going to be in a party party mode this week. Sagittarius, uh, I see a lot of growth patterns happening. It's a lover's card that is falling in for you. A lot of benefits happening. But financially, you need to be very, very careful because uh, here, uh, any kind of emotional investments might not bring you the kind of results that you're expecting them to be. And there could be an emotional drainage and financial drainage parallelly running together. So be careful on that front. However, in matters of heart, it is a good time. Uh, I see a lot of blessings coming in. And a woman, somebody who is a glib talker and simultaneously is also financially very very uh, strong is the one who would help you out in your love life. So that's a kind of projection I see you undergoing. Health of a child could be a cause of concern but in family life there is uh, I, I see some get togethers or some kind of celebrations that is taking place bringing you a lot of love, happy memories, a lot of peace in mind and uh, also if I have to uh, look into your travels, you uh, tend to socialize a lot while on a journey and uh, make new friends. These two friends are going to help you out in the longer run. So that's the kind of projection I see you. Good news coming in. A uh, man who has a good financial lab might help you out by the end of the week. And Capricorns. For Capricorns, how do uh, things uh, shape up? So for Capricorns, a motherly figure helps you out in your financial matters. A lot of growth patterns emerging here for you. Uh, investments on creative ventures would be extremely favorable. So that's the kind of projection I see for uh, Capricorns and even in the work front, the more energy, the more enthusiasm you put in, in your projects, the better the results are going to be. And this is a week, trust me, you're going to be your energetic self and this will reflect in your projects, your targets will achieve in time, there are new growth patterns emerging. In matters of heart though, you need to be a little calm and uh, handle things with ease because the kind of happiness and love that you're seeking might not reflect uh, right now at this point of time. Any joint health activities are going to bring in a lot of uh, success and might rejuvenate your health. You seem to be very focused and responsible for your family now. So this is a week when uh, more responsibilities come in and uh, more focus comes, uh, develops towards the protection of your family. Travels will be favorable, a lot of positive changes happening there, but don't be too possessive of your belongings by the end of the week because that might go over and back at you. And we move on to the next sign that is Aquarius and let us see how Aquarians are going to fare. So for Aquarians, 
A good news coming in family life. A child will bring in a lot of happiness for you. Simultaneously, financially also, this is uh, a good time to take in new initiatives, multiple options, investment options open up, uh, bringing you gains and success in this front. However, at the work front, you need to be very, very careful. There are possibilities of theft. If you are traveling, there could be certain losses or somebody traveling in the office might also incur some losses, some huge losses. So that kind of a situation I see, just be very careful or that might you know, pay very heavy on your mind and might create anxieties in life. Matters of heart are happy and harmonious, love and romance seeps in. You might want to redo your home or maybe you know buy a new property, plan out a new property or redecorate your house. Something in that my uh, mood swing, mood swing that you undergo, it's quite a shopping spree that you are planning to undergo this spree. What about your health? So health wise, subtle changes that are happening. Avoid travels. I don't see good changes in your travels this week, so they're best avoided. And again, uh, by the end of the week, I foresee you being very relaxed and calm. And this is the time frame when a little bit of rest would do you a lot better and you know bring in a lot of better changes. So meditate. That's the key area for the Aquarians in this week. And we move on to last but not the least sign Pisces. And let us look how Pisces are going to fare. So Pisces. Family life is a key area for your happiness. Homebound journeys are going to be extremely, extremely favorable and positive. Yet any kind of travels made in this week would be very, very favorable for you. You would love to go out and maybe visit an open area, a beautiful area with a lot of natural surroundings. So that's a kind of you know, mental frame I see you undergoing. Children bring in a lot of happiness for Pisces in this week. However, professionally, there are a lot of insecurities that are taking shape and you might feel not very comfortable about your projects and also there's a lot of insecurity and confusions creeping in this area. Money matters are also subtle, the status quo is there, whatever has been taking shape in the last uh, few weeks would take shape in this week also and simultaneously in matters of heart, I would want you to be more flexible, less stubborn and more flexible in your approach towards your love life. So try to listen to what your loved one also has to express. If you do that, then there will be situations where harmony will unfold. Otherwise, there could be some anxieties that might creep in. Health-wise, um, if the more outdoor activities that you are involved in, the better the health uh, would turn out to be. By the end of the week, you need to be more innovative, learn new skills, implement them in your life and follow your intuition. If you do that, things will really, really manifest very, very positively for you. So that was uh, for all the sun signs in this week, 27th of November to 3rd of December 2016. I'll come back again next week. Meanwhile, if you like my video, do subscribe because there's subscribe button in red down there. You can just click it and you subscribe to my videos. You would know uh, in future any celestial events or any weekly focus that I'm updating on my YouTube, you will be directly informed there. If you like my video, do like and do write your comments here. Don't inbox me, do write your comments here. I would love to, I love to read them and I love to respond to them. So do that. And if you have any personal queries, they're based on energy exchange. You can write to me at soch.345 at gmail.com. S-O-C-H dot 345 at gmail.com. And as I said, they're based on energy exchange. I do love to read them and I do answer all the queries that you post in them. So long, stay blessed and uh, give me a break for another week. Next week there are a lot of celestial events taking place. I'll get back to you on those. Uh, I would pray that uh, things would work out and more love and more life seeps in your life. More success is bestowed upon you by the Divine Almighty. And my prayers would be there for all of you who are going to watch this video, irrespective of whether you like them or you don't like them. Stay blessed. Atma Namaste.